welcome to the Terry White Tech Blog. We're here today to take a look at the long-awaited TomTom GPS navigation app for the iPhone. You might remember I already reviewed the Navigon app, so today we get to compare the two and see which one we like best. So I'm also using an Akron uh, vent mount for the iPhone, and of course I have a uh, cigarette lighter adapter for power, which I'm just going to go ahead and plug that in now and you're definitely going to want power and of course TomTom uh, Tom Tom has announced that they are coming out with a kind of a car kit that will give you a you know, stronger GPS signal and power and all of those things combined but that kit as of the recording of this video is not available yet so I'm going to go ahead and launch the TomTom Tom app and I'll take you through a few of the things before we uh, drive off to our destination here so the first thing I kind of like is that you get a black and white screen until you get a good GPS signal. Then it goes color, which is kind of cool. So next I'm just going to go ahead and tap to get back to the main menu. Left, then you have reached your destination. And it's still trying to route me to where I was uh, last going, but that's okay. So now we're going to walk through the options here. We have a navigate to, route options, mute sound, night colors, 2D map, advanced planning, browse map. Manage favorites, call a point of interest, the TomTom Tom car kit, which isn't available yet, and we also have, of course, the change settings. Now, the one thing I will say right off the bat about the TomTom Tom app is that it, se it certainly seems to have more configurable options than what I saw in the Navigon app so far. So, we're going to go ahead and choose nav Navigate 2, and of course, you have your default home, which you can put in a home address. Uh, favorites, address, which you can manually put in an address, your recent destinations, a point of interest, and contacts. So I'm going to do, and of course point of map, I'm going to do point of interest near me, and we'll do restaurants near me, and it's pretty responsive, very quick to give me that list of restaurants telling me how far they are away, and I really like the speed of this. So there's a particular restaurant that I want to navigate to that I don't see here in the list. So I'm going to go ahead and go back. Oh, by the way, before I go back, we do pick a restaurant. Let's say we wanted to go over to uh, Buddy's Pizza here. We can go ahead and tap it. And you do have the option of calling it, seeing where it is, seeing the address, so forth and so on. But we're going to go back. And we're going to go to, um, back one more here. We're going to go to contact, and this is one of my favorite features of these apps, is that you can uh, use your contacts as the address. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, type in the one that I want to go to here, which is going to be Olga's Kitchen. And we'll go ahead and hit Olga's Kitchen, and basically it just brings up the address for Olga's. Now, um, as of the recording of this, this was kind of buggy because some of your contacts, the address would work some wouldn't there didn't seem to be any rhyme or reason as to um i'm getting some alerts here any rhyme or reason as to why some addresses would work and some wouldn't but i'm going to go ahead and tap this address and that one does work and it gives me the route information uh estimated uh, time to get there how many miles it is away and now if i hit done it's ready to go so we can take off and we can start driving to that location. Now, of course, the TomTom Tom app does work in both portrait and landscape mode. And uh, I'll point out a couple of things that I like. And one thing that kind of uh, bothers me, at least until I find a way around it. And first of all, what I like is that you get, of course, your current speed in the lower left-hand corner. But as soon as you're on a street that it knows what the speed limit is, it will show you not only your current speed on the left, but also the um, speed limit on the right. And if you're going so many miles an hour over that speed limit, that, that part of the display will turn uh, red, letting you know. So it looks like it wants us to make a right here, but we're not going to. We're going to go ahead and make a left because I don't want to go that way. And this is one of the common problems that uh, these GPS systems have is that if you kind of know where you are and where you're going, it may propose a route that you don't agree with. And that's okay. The whole point of this is that it can route you um, what it thinks is the best and you may not always agree with that and that's 
I'm not too concerned about that. But it is, it looks like it is rerouting us the way that I want to go. So we're going to go up here and make a right. And by the way, in case you didn't hear it, it did tell us uh, we're going to make a right up here. And then we're going to make a U-turn. Now, Stay in the left lane. Now, it told us to make that U-turn, but here's one of my problems with this particular app so far, is that the voice sound was pretty low. I haven't found a way to control the volume for the app separately. And I've got the iPhone uh, volume turned all the way up to the point to where, you know, there's nothing else I see that I can adjust for the volume. So we're going to just wait for traffic here and go ahead and make this turn. And then I'll point out one of the other concerns that people have, and that is what happens when you receive a call with uh, an app like this running? Well, what do you do? Okay, so we're on our way. And uh, the next thing I want to do is point out what happens when you actually receive a call. So I have another iPhone here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, make a call to my iPhone and see what happens. And of course, I expect it to pop up that I'm receiving a call. Now, if I answer it, then of course, the TomTom Tom app has now been, um, it's been uh, quit out of or shut down because I'm now on that call. So here's a tip because since the iPhone doesn't support background processing for third-party apps, there is a workaround. It does support background processing for some of its own apps. So while I'm on that call, I'm just gonna go ahead and press the home button again. And then I'm gonna go ahead and press the TomTom Tom app again. Now the call is still in progress. You can see by the green bar there. And my routing should pick back up and remember where we were going and it's recalculating the route and so I can be on the phone and still navigating without missing directions in either the TomTom Tom or the Navigon app if you use that tip, that tip or trick or technique or whatever you want to call it so like I said the TomTom Tom app can't be in the background third-party apps can't be in the background but your phone call can be in the background while you're um, navigating. So if you know you're gonna be on the phone for more than a couple minutes, this would be the way to do it. All right, so uh, we're gonna continue on to our route. We'll pick back up when we get closer to the location and we can see uh, what that looks like at the end. Okay, we're approaching our destination. We're a little bit less than a half a mile away. Now I happen to know, of course, that this destination that we're getting to is on the right-hand side. Unfortunately, uh, the TomTom Tom app tells you you've reached your de destination, but it doesn't really tell you what side of the road it's on. 400 yards, you have reached your destination. So it says after 400 yards, we've reached our destination. And let's see what happens here. You have reached your destination. So there you have it. We've reached our destination. And again, it pointed on the right, but it doesn't really say right or left. Now, the other thing you may have noticed is that as it was telling us to make our turns, there was no text to speech. So the Navigon and the TomTom Tom apps currently don't support telling you the street names as you navigate. So for more information on the TomTom Tom, uh, GPS navigation app for the iPhone, the accessories we've used today, just visit my tech blog at terrywhite.com slash tech blog. That's it for this video report on the new TomTom Tom GPS app for iPhone.